Hi, this is Sweet Life and I'm Natasha, back at it with the recipe for cassoulet. Cassoulet is what I would consider a perfect cold weather Sunday meal. In some ways, it's reminiscent of chili, but doesn't fully cook on the stovetop. In my version, pork loin, beans, and vegetables cook slowly in the oven to form a filling and flavorful stew. It's hearty and filling on its own, but can also be served with a few slices of bread and a salad. So here I have a frying pan and I am just using this to brown a pork loin. This is about three to four pounds and all I've done is I've just washed it with a bit of vinegar, drained it off, rinsed it off and whatnot, and then seasoned it very simply. Just a little bit of seasoning salt, black pepper, blended seasoning, and in the pan here I'm not cooking it through. The point is really just to brown the outside to kind of caramelize the outside, get some good color on it, which will help to give it some flavor. And so with this, I'm just going to kind of turn it, give it a little bit of time on each side, let it brown, flip it, brown it again until I get like all of the sides with a reasonably nice color. Once I've browned all the sides, I went ahead and I just took it out of the pan, put it off to the side in a clean bowl. You could just press it on a cutting board. That's fine as well. So here I have a pot with two pounds of great northern white beans. I just put them in the pot and put about double the amount of water to cover. And I let this soak overnight. What this will do is it'll hydrate the beans and then it'll cut down on the cooking time. So now I have a roasting pan. You can use a Dutch oven or whatever you have, as long as it's some kind of an oven safe vessel that will fit your ingredients. In this case, the pork loin that we browned to this, I am going to add the beans that we allowed to soak overnight along with the liquid that they soaked in. So be sure not to pour that off. And so from here, we're just going to continue adding our other ingredients, which would be some chopped onions, chopped celery, carrots that have been cut into rounds, and then Asian eggplants. If you want, you can use the like more chubby regular eggplant but just adjust accordingly. But just adjust accordingly. So at this point, I've allowed the pork loin to cook for about forty-five minutes to an hour. I removed the pork loin from the um, roasting dish, and I am just going to cut this into cubes. From there, you just take the meat, add it back into the roasting pan with the vegetables, because we're going to put it back to cook. I'm just using the tongs, you can certainly use a spoon or something like that, just to kind of give it a quick little stir, just to kind of distribute the meat throughout the vegetables. So now from here we're going to season this. Some paprika, a bit of seasoning salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder, black pepper. I am using low sodium chicken broth. You can use vegetable or beef. And you could also use stock. Whatever you choose, I would recommend using low sodium. The reason being that you want to control the amount of salt that you add. You can always add more. You can't take it out. There, just give it a stir. You want to combine everything that we've put into the pot. As at this point, we've added back in our cubed pork loin. We've also added quite a bit of seasoning and we also added some stock. So you want to go ahead and give it a really good stir just to get all of that stuff blended up. And this we are then going to cover and put back into the oven to finish cooking. The pork loin, because it's now like well submerged in this liquid, it's just going to suck up more of the flavor. It's going to give off flavor into the rest of the ingredients, but it's also going to pick up flavor as well. So into the oven we go. So here we have our finished cassoulet that I have just put into a bowl and I'm serving with slices of toasted French bread. If you'd like, you can certainly add a salad on the side, but within this it's cooked down quite a bit, but you have several servings of vegetables in here. You've got some nice protein from the beans. Check out the recipe on the Sweet Life website or YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. To ensure you don't miss any episodes, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my cooking at home playlist. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you like what you saw, and go ahead and share it on social media.